okay guys another video with top five big beautiful and powerful phones with budget no limit so guys welcome to yet another top five category phones if you enjoy watching these kind of videos don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new to this one okay so obviously big screen phones with no budget limit means flagship phones but what I have done is to pick uh, phones that are powerful enough and also caters different budgets as well. So it will help your purchase decision. Alright then, without wasting any more time, let's look at the first phone in the list, the ultimate big phone, Samsung S20 Ultra. I mean, it was obvious pick, latest and greatest, cost around 97,000 Indian rupees for a mind-blowing 12GB RAM, 128GB variant. Okay, the RAM is mind-blowing here, but not the storage space. Come on, the base variant itself could have been like 256GB. Anyways, it features a huge 6.9 inches QHD plus 511 PPI, 120Hz display, 5000mAh battery, 45W fast charging, 9 watts reverse charging as well. The camera department is impressive as well with 108MP primary camera for crisp images with 10x hybrid zoom. Forget the space zoom, who needs that? It also has a unique single take shot, meaning tap the camera shutter button and instantly you'll have like 10 pictures captured so that you won't lose a moment. That's impressive. So guys, all right then, moving on with the number two in the list is the Samsung Note 10 Plus. I mean, it's a note after all and has to be in the list. Although launched in September, it still is a beast of a phone and you will really, really enjoy using it. Also, you are getting 12GB, 256GB variant for under 84,000 Indian rupees, which is a lot for the price, especially if you consider how the prices are getting expensive with smartphones. It has a gorgeous 6.8 inches Super AMOLED QHD Plus display at 498 PPI density, 45 watts fast charging, 4300 mAh battery, 9 watts reverse charging as well. So the camera resolution may not impress you, but the quality of the photos will actually impress you because it has unique dual aperture camera that was first seen in I think uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 9 with f1.5 as well as f2.4 variable aperture for main camera which is very impressive it also has a 12 megapixel f2.1 telephoto and 16 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera so it's safe buy if you're looking for a note series phone the number three in the list is the new oneplus 8 pro although the pricing has become quite expensive than what it used to be earlier but hey it is still a beast of a smartphone for that price that's right featuring one of the best smartphone display set it has a screen size of 6.78 inches at 513 ppi with 120 hertz refresh rate making it absolutely gorgeous display it also has 30 watts fast charging 4510 milliampere battery 3 watts reverse charging and looking at the camera department 48 megapixel at f 1.8 mm, not so impressive spec here Anyways, it should be good enough for the price. Uh, 8 megapixel 2.4 aperture telephoto with 3x optical zoom. Uh, impressive 48 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide camera setup here. 48 megapixel ultra wide camera and 5 megapixel depth sensor. Hmm, I think the OnePlus team got a bit lazy in bringing something new, unique, and spectacular to the table and rather thought, nah, let's stick to the 48 megapixel setup here. So yeah, it's still a worthy price, like worthy offering for what the price uh, they have been asking, right? So guys, next up in the list, here I picked two phones. Uh, you can actually pick any one you want and you will be happy with your purchase definitely. So it's the Samsung Note 10 Lite, the lighter version of the Note 10 with 6.7 inches screen, 12 megapixel f1.7 camera here. But it's a Note series after all. The enjoyment and work you get done with the Note series is unbeatable by any other phone. So it makes your workflow that easy if you own a Note. But anyways, another phone you can look at is the new one from the BBK Electronics, which also happens to own Realme, Oppo, Vivo and OnePlus. It's the new IQ003. Sounds crazy with the brand name. The brand is new, but OMG, look at the uh, what they are trying to offer for the price. Flagship chipset and processor, 12GB, 256GB variant, all costing at like 46,990 Indian rupees. Cheaper than the OnePlus 8 Pro. You have the latest Snapdragon 865 chipset here, 6.44 inches FHD plus Super AMOLED display, 55 watts fast charging, first in the industry I guess, so 4410 mAh battery as well. That's quite an uh, impressive spec actually on the sheet and if you also look at the reviews, I think uh, it's uh, doing a great job with that phone as well. And also there is 48 megapixel primary camera setup, 13 megapixel telephoto, 13 megapixel ultra wide. So everything about this phone for the price is just incredible. 
So I bought this in the list. The number five in the list is the surprisingly Oppo Reno 10X Zoom. Now this one is costing around like 39,000 Indian rupees and it has a flagship chipset, Snapdragon 865, 8 GB, 256 GB variant, excellent camera setup, 48 megapixel f1.7 primary camera, 13 megapixel telephoto camera, 8 megapixel ultra wide, 16 megapixel selfie. It has a book 3.0 flash charge support as well with 4,000, uh, I think 4,065 milliampere hour battery and above all there is a 6.6 .6 inches gorgeous AMOLED display. So that's I think very worth the price. There are a few honorable mentions here. So if you were uh, disappointed with those kind of phones, uh, there are some honorable mentions at affordable prices. You can still look at these one and still be happy with your purchase. Number one in the list is the POCO X2 at like 17,999. You are getting a 6 GB, 128 GB variant, 6.67 inches uh, display, a Snapdragon 730G, which is fast and battery is also efficient and impressive camera setup as well. So that's one of the uh, mobile in the list. There is another one, Samsung A71, 6.7 inches Super AMOLED display, 4,500 milliampere hour battery, 64 megapixel primary camera, 12 megapixel ultra wide, 5 megapixel camera. Uh, which is macro 5 megapixel depth sensor is also there and also 38 32 megapixel selfie camera is what you get with that phone as well okay so budget no limit right and no apple phone how could that be possible but really there is only one apple phone with such a big screen and that's the iphone 11 pro max which has a 6.5 inches OLED display and costs a like whopping 1 lakh 19 thousand rupees if you fancy big screen apple phone then this could be it Another honorable mention I would like to add up here is the newly launched Redmi Note 9 Pro Max which is available on the Amazon. So it has a 6.67 inch screen, Snapdragon 720G chipset which is fast enough, 33 watts fast charging which also happen to have an impressive camera setup all for under like 17,000 Indian rupees. So guys these were the phones that's uh, totally worth the spend. So what do you guys think of this list? Did I miss any? Which one did you end up buying? So as always, let us know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, all right guys, then don't forget to give this video a like and share it. So guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click on that subscribe and I will see you all in another one. Till then take care everyone. Bye bye.